is my first time in Portugal, and I am absolutely amazed. I'm instantly falling in love with the city of Lisbon. The food is incredible, the people are just incredible and friendly, not to mention beautiful. The scenery is amazing, great skate spots. I mean, there's not much more I can say other than I'm so thrilled to be here right now. People I know growing up in skateboarding, so many professional skateboarders, really good artists and stuff like that. So it's part of the culture, and it's good to have all that celebrated in one spot. And uh, it's cool. It's it got everything from skating in the real streets and then a vert ramp. I, I love the idea of having all that and the celebration of skateboarding and everything all together. <laughs> Traditionally, it used to just be at a skateboard park and kind of, you know, the same old same for many years. And now it's like with, you know, Stone Crushers and uh, Copenhagen Pro and all these contests where it's, you're out in the streets and you're actually in the spots. I mean, as a street skater myself, that's like the best kind of contest you could have. So to me, it's, I think it's well received. A lot of people seem to be stoked on it and I look forward to the future. It can only get better. Bird skaters are from all around the world, from the UK, uh, United States of America, Japan, Brazil, and then some of the street skaters as well. I mean, I saw a bunch of them just a week ago in Copenhagen and seeing them come over here to Lisbon, Portugal and skate this contest. It's been really incredible. And, I mean, some of the local skaters are great too. You know, George Samoas, he's just amazing. Oh,